guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to Ring 2, Episode 9 of my dad's secret ambition. So let's go ahead and get started. Episode 9 in 3, 2, 1, go. December? Um, okay, that makes sense. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus. Yes. Oh, God. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Uh -huh. And it's not your fault. Oh, if y'all only knew. Hmm. Maybe we shouldn't tell them. Well, you gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. You know, sometimes you can't really just say anything to your co-workers because once they find out, maybe they will blame him. I don't know. I mean, I sure as hell wouldn't because it's not his fault. <laughs> but it will be his fault because of the fact that he's keeping this from <laughs> Hmm, for babies. All excited about this party that they're not going to be able to go to because it's not the party that they are expecting it to be. It's just karaoke. Well, you know, go to a sensei could make something with he may. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. I mean, it would be maybe just as good as the party they all wanted to go to. I don't know. I mean, mm -hmm. you're lying in December. <laughs> Okay, where's Roku? I know I want to see. He made Roku. You see me? Hell, some people literally do that right after Thanksgiving. <laughs> That's a disco ball, baby. Mm-mm. <laughs> oh, and you want to swing on it, too? I mean, I, I don't know if it'll pull somebody's weight with that. I, I would be afraid to try that. Well, um, unfortunately, there is no party, but y'all still don't know that.
Is that supposed to be AKB48? Even though I said 46? Guys, I feel so bad for you. The more and more they talk about this damn party. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Because you told them there was no party and we needed them not to just don't be excited about it. And then we would have ripped the band-aid off. Mm-hmm. Right. I forgot about that one. You'll be able to dress up too. Sure, if she wants to go. Mm. 
No. This is gonna be so much fun. They went to the wrong party. Bring her here. <laughs> no, a disco ball, baby. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, God. Stop. without him. Oh. Well, shoot. Mm -hmm. Damn. Oh, no, they made it to the party. Yay! See, baby, that's a chandelier. <laughs> she looks so cute in her dress. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. No way. Kinda. <laughs> of course you did. But what about what's your face? Mm. Well, then they would still be in like dresses. Probably. You found him, eh? Well, he has to still hide the fact from He-Man. <laughs> hmm. 
-hmm. Don't worry about it. You took his car? Shit. <laughs> no, oh my god, he may. You are fucking adorable. I mean, oh my god. Mm-hmm. But it's true, though. Apparently so. I mean, but you you know, hey, you could do it. If, she could do it if she wants to. Oh, shit. <laughs> it was just that weird. So, you need to go. Shit. Even the emergency exit? Oh my god. Oh my god. No, no, no. No, shit. Damn it. Oh, damn it. Damn it. Uh-huh. Yeah. At least somebody recognized you.
David says, yeah. Oh, what are you doing? baby girl. Oh my god. I can't. Hmm? Oh, that's so pretty. <laughs> sure, you may. Merry Christmas, he may. Or Merry Early Christmas, he may. But just that's it, yeah. Did he disappear? I, I mean, I don't know what's left, what's right, what's up, what's down. I mean, seriously, but this Christmas episode was adorable. I think this is probably not my favorite Christmas episode in the springtime. I mean, typically, Christmas episodes are just, like, the party and everything, and then handing out presents, and it snows, and then that's it. But, like, to go to a party and have Kimi able to come along was so sweet. It would have been better if Roku was in this damn episode, I'm just saying. We literally had a whole episode with the damn dog don't make an appearance. I'm sitting here the whole entire time. Where the hell is the dog? The dog is just chilling somewhere. Is he sleeping? He took him his nap. He went outside. I mean, uh, Nadia, she was only here for like two seconds and then bam, she was gone. Because like, y'all important to this plot just as much as he may have gone to. I'm like, uh, okay. But, oh my god. He may look so cute in her dress. So cute and Billy, like, oh my god, that was just, like, the cutest thing ever. So adorable. But I love the fact that her dad was just trying to shy away from everyone because she just, he didn't want her to get scouted or anything because of reasons I get that. And thinking that every manga artist is a freaking lolly kind. <laughs> but then, hold up, wait, if he thinks every artist is a manga artist is a lolly kind, wouldn't he also think that himself is a lolly kind, but even though he's not? So, alright, you know Hime is going to want to do something for New Year's. She's going to want to go visit a shrine or something. And, I mean, even though he's like, yeah, people are like, my, my guard is using to celebrate New Year's or bullshit, but he, he's going to celebrate it. I mean, come on. Hime is the type of child where it's like, no matter what the heck she wants to celebrate, he is there, like, at the end of the day, like, yes, baby, let's celebrate this. I can't even imagine how, like, valentine's day or even white day would be for them because i feel like with the last few episodes that we have because we are 10, 11, 12, we got three weeks left with this show and they could do a valentine's day episode for either they can't do it for 10 now they could do it for 11 or 12 maybe um it, it, i feel like it's gonna happen they're probably gonna do something like how they did last week where like the birthday party no it's like that maybe but it might be something else a little more grander maybe i'm not 100 percent. and then finally you know gojo sensei is gonna be able to talk smack to a little boy and be like so <laughs> what you what's your reason for wanting to be with my kids i mean i would love to see him like go like how typical parents do when you know and when they have a daughter and their daughter wants to go out with a guy and the guy comes over the girl's house and it's more or less the dads and the moms but in my family it's my mom rather than my dad and it's just like hey what's your intentions with my kid even though he may is like psh, young af i mean this is she's still a baby to me but still boys these are still be asked a question because you never know i mean i don't know what i want to ask a 10 uh, eight, nine, ten year old, them questions at that age, probably not. Maybe when they hit like 14 or 15, yes, but like at, at age 10, no, like let them be kids. <laughs> this is a really good episode, but I mean, 
that last little bit about manga artists who disappeared and then what's his face saying not to lie. Something about that's a little suspicious. And it makes me think that he's not, you know, he didn't disappear. He's just somewhere. We just don't know. We got three weeks left on this show and anything could happen. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to you towards episode nine of my dad's secret ambition. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Thursday for episode 10. Bye, guys.